And we're back once again, of course, and we have the star of the ball game for you as well, and that's going to be Stephen Dabosky, who pitched most of the way here into that seventh inning of play for this Ewing Ball Club to be able to get the uh, first win in the Mid-Atlantic region on their opening game for them. And Stephen, tell us a little bit about this coming into the ball game. What were your thoughts coming in that you know you had seen this Mount Morrow ball club before? Yeah, um, which I think call? Mike wants to. Yeah. I was. Everybody was feeling good. Everybody was feeling anxious to play. Everybody was really ready to play. And they felt really good, loose, and played really good. As far as yourself, you, you go in that uh, one inning, the third inning of play, where they ended up getting three hits off of you. They got the three runs. Anywhere in that inning where you you starting to get concerned about the, whether or not you're going to be able to go beyond that? A little bit, but I knew if I just composed myself, put my kept my head in it, I could shut them down and have a good game and keep my team in the ball game. When you look at this, what what do you feel really was was working for you when you needed it? What what pitches were really coming in for you? Oh, I'm still all my pitches, my fastball and my all speed pitches were really right there, and everything like that. Um, staying 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 on much uh, close to the plate and make, trying to let, put the better put the batters let the batters put the ball in play and let defense make the plays. Yeah, I know a couple of uh, cases there, especially with your catching. I thought you had a uh, call third strike there a couple yeah. of occasions. Yeah, it's all right. Sometimes the umpire may miss a call or two, but all you can do is just keep your head in the game and go out to the next pitch. What happened in that seventh inning of play? Uh, things were going along for you there, and then all of a sudden, uh, maybe. You you know, did, were you tiring at all? Did you feel uh, getting tired in that seven? Getting a little bit tired. Not really. I don't know what happened. Maybe just like I was really anxious to get back out there. It might have just been that you know, you I just wanted to really shut him down, but it's, it, it happens. Yeah. Right. Well, you got yourself the win in the, in the opening uh, game. That's that's important here when you come to pool play, getting the the victories along that way. You guys have a, a, a night off now because you don't play tomorrow. You'll be playing on the 7 o'clock game on Wednesday night. Uh, who do you uh, figure is going to be possibly the pitcher for you that night? I think I... Uh, Either Tyre Brecco or Jimmy Sperano might pitch for us. Either way, both of them are really good pitchers, and they keep us in the ball game and stay right around the plate. All right, Jimmy got an opportunity to finish this one off a little bit for you as well. We got something for you here as our player of the game. That's going to be a, a, a hoagie coming away from the Italian People's Bakery in Delhi. And you'll get that hoagie there at the location at 63 Butler Street in Trenton. And Stephen Dabosky, congratulations in that great ball game. And we'll see you on Wednesday night and try to get number two. Yep, thank you. All right.